Welcome to my lab. My name is Drew Collip. In today's lab, we will be using a Genesis 30 spectrophotometer. The automatic scan feature will be used to create an absorption spectrum for Janus Green B dye. This is a common dye used in histology and is present in my lab. The stock concentration is too concentrated for any light to pass through in the spectrophotometer. Today we've diluted it down to 25 milligrams per liter. I found that's a good concentration to get a proper absorption spectrum. The automatic scan feature is a quick way to easily determine an absorption spectrum. In a very short period of time, we can collect data for wavelengths between 325 nanometers up to 1100 nanometers. One great feature is that all the data can be offloaded onto a USB stick. Collecting data for every wavelength between your minimum and your maximum wavelength. Here we have the Genesis 30 spectrophotometer. The home button takes us to the screen where we can switch between modes. We would like the scan mode, cursor down, and press the center enter button. Here we can see the screen, we can see the absorbance, the transmittance, our lower and our upper wavelength limits. Before we can start our scan, we must blank the machine. It says right here. This button here is the blank button. We're going to open up the lid and place our water sample inside. Make sure there's no smudges on the glass. Close the lid and press this yellow blank button. It will now blank every wavelength from your lower to your upper limit. It does take some time to do this. You can see the progress bar here. It doesn't take that long, considering the amount of time you'll save from doing a scan one wavelength at a time. The range of the scan can be adjusted using the x-axis limits. All you need to do is select the lower box under x-axis limits, delete it, and type in the number you would like for the lower nanometer wavelength. Same holds true for the upper nanometer wavelength. In this case, I've selected 325 nanometers as my lower limit and 1100 as my upper limit. Now our scan is done. It's now time to run our absorbance. You can see the mode has been set to absorbance. We're now going to take our sample of Janus Green B, making sure there's no smudges on the glass, place it into the cuvette holder, close the door. It says press the play button to run the scan. Here we see it scanning through the wavelength, starting at our maximum limit, which is 1,100 nanometers, and it's reading off the absorbance as we go. And you can actually see it graphing as we go along. Now these numbers are very small, so it looks like there's a huge change in our absorbance, but really, it's very minuscule. You can see the graph changing in real time as it moves along. The vertical axis is changing as the horizontal axis gets smaller in terms of wavelength. Oh, looks like we're getting close to our maximum wavelength. Yep, look at that. It now plateaus and then it drops off. So it looks like our maximum wavelength is somewhere around 600 nanometers. It's dropping down now and it's plateauing off again. And then look like it's, yes, it's going up again. So you can see it rising slightly here, plateauing off again, and then dropping down. This appears to be the characteristic absorption spectrum for Janus Green B dye. Once the scan is done, the graph remains on the screen. You can actually interact with it. You can move the cursor over, moving the wavelength, and you can read off the absorbance. Let's try and determine what the maximum absorbance is. Moving over, 1 1.6, 1.7, 1.734. 1.734 appears to be Amax at 602 nanometers for Janus Green B dye. Now we can save this data on a USB stick. Select the Save feature, grab a USB stick, goes right in the front here. There's a USB port right here. Plug it in. Cursor down to the save icon. Press enter. Select export data to USB drive. Select OK. And it has been transferred over. It says it right there. You're good to go. Disconnect the USB stick. Open in Excel and edit. Until next time.